Okay, so in this video, we will consider a second example of the equiprobability theorem, but now not where a single die is rolled, but two dice are rolled, say a black and a white die. So now we'll have a different sample space, right? So if we keep track of the figure, and of course we observe the two figures on the upper face of the white and the black die, so if you think of it, now we will have a sample space where the outcomes are tuples, right? There will be the figure on, say, the black die being observed and the figure on the white die. Now, there are six possibilities for each one, right? The black die can return a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6. And the same for the white die. It can return also a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6. So what we have now is a Cartesian product, right? Our sample space consists of all pairs where there are six options for the first and six options for the second. So I'm not going to list all possible pairs, but of course that gives you six options for the first choice and six for the second so because we're saying AND, when it comes to counting, we're multiplying. So it's 6 times 6, therefore, there are 36 different possible pairs. Which is why I'm not going to list every single one of them. There's 36 of them. Okay. Now, of course, if we assume that both dice, the black and the white one, are fair, then every possible outcome is equally likely. And since we have a finite sample space, we are satisfying the conditions of the equiprobability theorem. So let's look at just two simple counting problems here. Well, two probability problems that will boil down to just a straightforward, simple counting problem. What if I ask for the first example, for the first problem, what is the probability that both dies come up the same. So the probability that both have the same figure. Well, as we have just said, all we need now is to count the number of elements in our event of interest. Well, both have the same figure. We'll think of what are the possibilities. It could be 1, 1. So both come up 1. It could be 2, 2. Both come up 2. It could be 3, 3. Both come up 3. It could be 4, 4. Or 5, 5. Or 6, 6. So that is the event that both have the same figure. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 possibilities. So there are 6 possible outcomes that satisfy the condition that both dice have the same figure. And so now we simply apply the equi-probability theorem. There are, or I should say the probability of E, is the number of elements in E, the event of interest, over total number of outcomes of the experiment, and that is simply six outcomes give us the condition we're after over all of 36 different possible outcomes, and that is our probability that both dice have the same figure, and we can simplify as 36 is 6 times 6, we can cancel one of the sixes, and we're left with 1 out of 6. So there you go. So if you roll two dice and you ask, what is the probability that both dice come up with the same figure, the answer is 1 out of 6. Straightforward counting problem. Number 2. What if I ask now the probability that the dice have a different figure from one another? So I'll just say both dice 
are different. Now here, there's two ways of doing this. There's the long way and there's the short way. Now here, this was the event E, the event of interest. Now of course here, you can solve this problem ignoring the work you've done in part one and going back to counting. So count out of all 36 possible outcomes, pairs, all pairs where the numbers are different. And once you take that number over 36, you'll have the probability. But if you think of it, we can do much better here. We can give a much slicker solution. Think of it. What is the event that both dice are different with respect to the event that both dice have the same figure? This is the opposite of this one. But a better word for opposite is complement. This is simply E complement. Right? Either when you roll the two dice, you obtain the same figure, or you don't. And here we can use the simple complement rule. P of E complement is going to be 1 minus P of E. Well, we have just found P of E. It's 1 out of 6. So we have 1 minus 1 out of 6, which gives us, of course, 5 out of 6. And that's it. The probability of rolling two dice and observing a different figure from each one is 5 out of 6. And now think back to how you would have obtained this number using the long solution. Counting all possible pairs where the numbers are different directly, not with the complement rule, because if you think of it, multiply top and bottom by 6 this gives you 5 times 6 is 30, so 30 out of 36. So if you had counted directly every single pair where the numbers are different, you would have counted 30 different pairs. So 30 of those. And that's way too inefficient. Whenever you have a complicated event, use the complement rule. And that's it.